All right, guys, what is up? Matt McQuinn here. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Data Axle and how it compares to other data sources. There's a couple of things that I really enjoy about Data Axle and that I think you will too. Um, the number one is that the interface is quite easy to navigate. Everything is on a left hand sidebar. You can go through, apply your filters, and go in and find leads. The flip side of this is that I found that a lot of the leads in this database have been kind of burned out. By the time I did my outreach, a lot of these contacts had already began to have a negative sentiment about my email um, more often than other databases or other ways of scraping data that I've tried in the past. So I found that a lot of the data inside of Data Axel is actually um, fairly, st not stale, but is fairly burned out from all the outreach that people get because it is a popular platform. And of course, what happens is in a database is the more people that use a platform, um, the, the more the data gets burned up, you know, because everybody's pitching those same people over and over again. Beautiful interface, easy to use, nice credit system. Um, however, the data itself is where I found issues. Now, I'm going to show you guys an example of what a search came back looking like from Data Axle versus other competitors. So we're gonna switch over now and I'm gonna show you that. And then you'll be able to make your own decision on whether or not you wanna try Data Axle for yourself. All right guys, so what we did here is we ran a search for plumbers in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And we did this across several platforms. And when we look at the results that we got back, you'll be able to see how Data Axle actually stacks up in a very specific industry, specific uh, job title type of search, which is what most people are using this data for. They're mostly using it for outbound. And so what we need to do is, is figure out, hey, is this getting us the right information? How much of it is or isn't accurate? And, and what do we have to work with? So jumping right in, we've got 24 leads that came back from Data Axel, but actually only two were valid, and it's these two contacts here. Um, so overall, if you were to spend time checking each lead, you spent two minutes checking each lead, um, if your time is valued at $23 an hour or your employee is, um, then you would have spent $18 to clean up this list. Therefore, not counting the cost of the platform itself, you spent $9 of time uh, per lead. So $18 total on this list of two leads, which is pretty expensive uh, to a business who, who most people value their time more than $23 an hour if they're in business for themselves. But if you're paying an employee, it's still a fact that you uh, or a factor that you want to take into consideration. So let's see how it stacks up against other platforms here. So we've got uh, Coldlytics, which is our company here. For this this specific search, we found 21 total valid leads, and we can show you how that works here in just a moment. D7 Lead Finder found nine total leads out of 68, though, so only 13% accuracy. Apollo didn't find any, neither did Lucia. Seamless found two, but again, only 13% accuracy there, and which is interesting because D7 and Seamless are both lead scrapers. Um, they just scrape the web, you know, fairly randomly. Um, and then if we jump over to Lead Carrot, Lead Carrot had uh, zero leads that came back accurate. There were 56 total, but it came back inaccurate. Then we'll check out clean leads here as well. So clean leads came back with two leads out of 85 total that it pulled. So at only a 2.35% accuracy rate, which is pretty significant. Um, so when we look at this, obviously the, the provider that we have created, Coldlytics has created more data for this specific type of search than anywhere else. So if you're looking for a niche specific, job title specific type of search, Coldlytics is yielding the best results out of everybody. Data Axel is a good solution, but they only found two options. So let's jump in now and we'll show you how to actually source a list like this from Coldlytics. So what we'll do is we'll open up a new tab. We'll go to coldlytics.com and click on that white sign up button in the top right corner. If you don't have an account, I'm just going to log in for mine. So now that we're signed in, we're going to click on the plus new button at the top middle of the screen and we'll come down to total leads. Let's say we're looking for a, a thousand businesses here and we're only looking for one contact per company. We can come down and we can set the country filter to United States and you can search plumbing this way as an industry and you could either assign job functions, job titles, or my favorite way is just to go to seniority level and assign the owners and founders, directors and executives. So if we can find an owner or founder, we'll do that first. And if not, if we can find a director or executive in that company, we will pull that contact for you. Now, the best way to actually do this, in my opinion, is instead of just inputting the plumbing industry, let's cancel that out for a second and we'll cancel out the United States filter. We'll come to data sources. Under here, you see Google Maps slash Google Business Profiles. Let's click on this blue text underneath to open up Google Maps. 
<clears throat> we're going to come up here and we're going to search for plumbers in Allentown, Pennsylvania. So we run this search. And on the left hand side, we get a whole list of different plumbing businesses here, which is great. Uh, so if we were to scrape all of these contacts down and check their websites to make sure that they're actually plumbing businesses and find contacts for them, this would be a solid list. Because as you can see, there's quite a few plumbing businesses in this area, um, but most lead providers only found two, where we're starting from a fairly definitive resource, which is Google's business profiles database. We're able to pull all this information down and then go out and find the decision makers that you need for your business. So let's copy this link at the top of the page, bring it back over to Coldletics and paste it in here. We'll hit enter to submit it and we will click on that blue next button now in the bottom right corner. We're going to get into data points now. So this is the data that we actually collect on those companies. We've got the first and last name, the company name, job title, email address and the company website for every single contact. We'll source as many data points as you request. So we can also add their LinkedIn profile URL, the address of the business, the phone number for the business, the direct dial of that business as well, or business owner, I should say, um, the Google review count and score, the link to their Google business profile, and if they've actually claimed that Google business profile, um, the company social media profile links from TikTok to Facebook, we can get all of them there. Uh, we can detect if they have conversion pixels, so advertising pixels on their websites, so Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, TikTok, you name it. Um, we can also tell you if they've got Google Analytics installed, if they have a checkout function on their website, so if there's e-commerce going on on their website, we can tell you that. Um, and we can tell you if it was built on WordPress, as well as how fast their web, website actually loads in milliseconds. So ton of different data points here that you guys can request. We'll jump to the next page and we'll give this list a name. We'll call it Plumbers in Allentown. PA, and then we would start the task. And so what happens is our team of human researchers gets assigned to go out and pull all of these companies down. And once we pull all these companies in, um, we validate them against their website to make sure they're actually plumbing businesses. And then we go out and that team of human researchers are experts in finding email addresses and phone numbers. So they go out and find those contact points, fill them into a spreadsheet. It's very manual labor, but it's the best way to get the most leads possible, which is why we have you know, 10 times the average return for this search over our competitors. Um, so if you guys wanna try this out, you can try it for $1 for 25 leads over seven days, check it out. And I appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day.